The Screen Sport cameras welcome you along to the Ulivi Stadium in Gothenburg for the Ulivi Open of 1991. As always, an individual meeting, 16 top class riders taking part in this one, all wanting to do particularly well because this, of course, is the venue for the bigger one in 1991, the World Individual Speedway Champion. There is the current title holder, Per Jonsson from Sweden, sadly not involved in England this year, but certainly playing his part on the continent where he rides for Stockholm United. There we see the world number three, Todd Wiltshire from Australia certainly setting the pace of light in every league he rides in this season. While the crowd's settled, a lot of people come over from England to watch this one. They also want to know what Gothenburg is like as a city, as well as the venue, the Ulivi Stadium. 400 meter circuit, which has three people to hold the track record, Hans Nielsen, Jano Peterson, and Per Jonsson. So we get straight away into the action as the very colorful cheerleaders here at the Ulivi Stadium show the flags for the riders for heat number one. So the riders then for the open race here at the Gothenburg Ulivi Stadium. In red is Craig Boyce from Australia. In blue, Andy Smith from England. In white, Michael Blitz from Sweden. And yellow and black, Ronnie Corey from the US of A. So that's the lineup for the opening race. There he is, Michael Blitz with the uh, very long hair. So Craig Boyce, our current Australian champion. Andy Smith, not attached to the English club at the moment, but rides for an Eskil student in Sweden. Michael Blitz, he rides, of course, for Cumberland the League champions, and Ronnie Curry for Wolverhampton. And the Ulivi Open gets underway as heat number one rises, and straight into the lead is the rider in red, Craig Boyce from Australia. Boyce leads, Michael Blitz in second place, no, but they've been overtaken by Andy Smith down the back straight. So it is Boyce who leads, Andy Smith second, Michael Blitz third, and Ronnie Curry in fourth position. So as the tapes rose on this opening race, it was Boyce who really drove from the start into that first turn. And for a rider who uh, is stepped up to the big, big scene in World Speedway in 1991, he's certainly not going to be overhauled by this occasion. So Boyce leads, still Smith in second place. Miguel Blitz third and Ronnie Corrie filled in in fourth place at the moment and sadly looking out of points in this opening ride. So as they come round this 400 metre circuit to take the flag for one more lap, it looks as though Craig Boyce, barring any unforeseen happenings, is going to take three points in his opening ride. Smith in second, coming under a bit of pressure from Blitz, but there's no doubt about the man who's going to get the three points. It's Australian Craig Boyce who wins. Second place in the blue helmet colour was Andy Smith, and in third place, Mikael Blitz from Sweden. So a good way to start any championship is with three points under the belt, and this guy won from about the second turn onwards. There he is, good ice ball. Australian champion, as I said, sadly, uh, gladly settling and icing in the British League where he rides for the Oxford Cheetahs. Craig Boyce, the winner of heat number one. So heat number two sees the current world champion, Pierre Jonsson, of course, in Sweden, and Stockholm United. He rides in the red helmet colour, in blue, for Matt and Coventry in England. Uh, sorry, at Coventry, Berwick in England, is Calvin Tatum. And in white is Billy Hamill from Cradley Heath and Eskil Stuna. He rides in the white helmet colour. And Lars Gunnestad from the Swedish League champions, Kumla, and of course Norway, he rides in yellow and black. So there we are, Jonsson, Tatum, Hamill and Gunnestad. This is heat number two. Started Marshall waiting impatiently as uh, Pierre Jonsson does the familiar piece of gardening. Billy Hamill having his first taste of European Speedway with the running in Swedish League this year. So Jonsson, Tatum, Hamill, Gunnarstad. This is heat number two. The green lights are on, the tapes rise, and the bikes rev and straight to the first turn. It is Calvin Tatum who's there. Tatum leads from Billy Hamill in second place. Jonsson at the moment having to fight from the back. So it's 
Tatum leads. The minor places are up for grabs as they drive into the third and fourth turn. Still it is Billy Hamill in wide two holes in advantage. And beginning to get stretched out just slightly here in heat number two. Tatum leads. Hamill second, Janssen looking down at his machine. Gunnarstad back in fourth place in yellow and black. But Calvin Tatum, who uh, has had such a, a sweet move during the winter from Coventry to Barrick, where he's doing very, very nicely indeed. Tatum still leads. Billy Hamill just waiting for that one mistake from Tatum to come through, but I don't think Calvin is going to make one as we wait for the last lap now of heat number two. Tatum, who recently came through the British Speedway final and it's now safely through to the Overseas Championship of the World Championship Trail. He's going to take the three points in heat number two. It's Tatum that wins. Billy Hamill in second place. And sadly for Sweden, Per Jonsson back in third. So, Pir uh, so Calvin Tatum gets three points from heat number two. Billy Hamill, a very surprised and good ride from him. He gets two points. And Per Jonsson gets a solid point. But all rides are on number seven. Calvin Tatum from England, who is the winner of heat number two. Heat number three, and Jan Anderson comes in to ride in red in gate number one. There in blue is Todd Wiltshire, both teammates, of course, for Reading in the Sunright League. Jano Peterson, Denmark, is in white, and Peter Carlson from Sweden is in yellow and black. That's the full out for heat number three. The Vikes Rev, and away they go from the start, and Wiltshire gets the superb gate from gate two. Wiltshire leads, Jano Peterson trying to come around the outside of him. Has he got the speed? It's Speedy Todd who holds the pole position at the moment. Jan Anderson now coming up underneath Jano Peterson. Jan on the inside and at 36 years of age is making his debut in the Olivier Open, which is quite remarkable considering he lives in Gothenburg. But it is Todd Watch who leads, Jano Peterson second. Jan Anderson lifts down the back straight, still in third. And Peter Carlson tailed off in fourth position. So two laps gone, it looks as though Todd Wiltshire is going to be in fine form here at Wednesday night in the Ulivi Stadium. It's been a beautiful, gorgeous day here in Gothenburg. Todd Wiltshire, of course, races for the Vestavik in the Swedish Elite League and Reading Racers in the Sunbright League. And with one more lap to go, he looks as though he's going to collect three points from his opening ride. For the two winners so far, Craig Boyce from Australia. Calvin Tate from England, and it looks very much as though another Australian top hooks is going to get three from Heat 3. Around the final two bends, there's going to be Speedy Todd who gets here. Todd Watcher wins. Second place, Jano Peterson. In third place was Jan Anderson and Peter Carlson back in fourth place. So there we are, the man, sponsored as always by PD Leathers, and good old Peter Johns on the outskirts of London tunes those out engines for him. And Todd Watcher collects the three points, two for Jano Peterson, and one for for Jan Anderson. That's the result of heat number three. Well, there we see the technical styling of the gate positions in Speedway. The chalk coming out to designate the lane in which the rider's got to go in for this particular race, or any race. And the full lineup for the next one, which is heat number four. Well, Rick Miller rides in red. Jimmy Nielsen from Sweden rides in blue. Rick Miller, of course, from the USA. Hans Nielsen, the former world champion, he rides in white. And Kenneth Nyström from Sweden rides in yellow and black. Nystrom there rides for Kaparna in the Swedish Division 1 and the home street, you could say, on home territory. So they were out of the full lineup for heat number four. Miller, Nielsen, Nielsen and Nystrom. That's the lineup. The way they drive from the start. And who's going to make the first turn today? Jimmy Nielsen in blue. Who's got there? Nielsen in blue. Nystrom coming around the outside of him. Kenneth Nystrom, a good ride from him. Jimmy Nielsen knows he's there. Has he got the speed to hold him out? It's just Jimmy Nielsen. Kenneth Nystrom still trying to go around the outside. A brave ride from the homester here. Jimmy Nielsen leads. Superb form so far this season for the rider in blue. Jimmy Nielsen since his winter move up there to Berwick where he rides along with Calvin Tatum in the border country. So Jimmy Nielsen leads. Second place still Kenneth Nystrom. Third place in red is Rick Miller now trying to put up a bit of pressure on Nystrom. And Hans Nielsen, which is a surprise to everybody, is back in fourth place. So Hans Nielsen, of course, one of the track record holders here at the Ulevi, trying to come through. And look at Rick Miller coming underneath Kenneth Nystrom as we see the flag for one more lap to go. So Rick Miller's now through to second place. Has Hans Nielsen got the speed? 
to come through to take Nystrom as well, but it's around the final two bands. There's no doubt who's going to win it. Takes it very, very steady to Jimmy Nielsen, but he comes up to take the flag. It's Jimmy Nielsen wins. Second place, Rick Miller. And in third place is Kenneth Nystrom. So there he is, the Stockholm-based rider in the Swedish Elite League. Now for Berwick Bandits in the, the Division One of the British League. He collects three points from his opening ride, heat number four, and did it in superb style from the start. Jimmy Nielsen, the winner of heat number four. So the track being graded, and now we're back on action with heat number five. And this is Kenneth Neeson come out for two on the trot. He's in the red helmet colour. Craig Boyce, a winner, first time out. He is in blue. Per Jonsson is in white. And Jano Peterson is in yellow and black. That's the full lineup for heat number five. The green light goes on. Bikes rev and away they drive from the start. And he's going to show first again. And it's Boyce again who's got there. Boyce and Jano Peterson. But Boyce in the blue helmet colour has got the drive down the back straight. And Jonsson swims underneath Jano Peterson to come through to second place. So Boyce leads. Per Jonsson second, Yellow Peterson third, and Peterson now coming back underneath Jonsson. And a great ride from the Tiny Dane. Peterson through to second place, and Jonsson yet again relegated to third, which is not good news for the current world champion. The great boys surprising everybody here at the Olympic Stadium. Two laps gone, and Boyce leads. Yano Peterson, no doubt, will have something to say about it, but Boyce is in superb form. Electric from the start. And to be fair, he looks in control on every particular bend in these uh, two outings so far. One more lap to go in heat number five. And it's Boyce who leads. Yellow Peterson second. And Peterson will have dropped two points if he can't make up any ground. Jonsson, sadly for him, he will be way away out of contention as they round the final two bends. And it's going to be an easy win for the rider in blue from Australia. It's Craig Boyce who wins. Second place. Jano Peterson in third place was Perry Johnson and Kenneth Nystrom trailed home in last place. But Craig Boyce certainly setting the place alight from Australia. He collects his second win as he wins heat number five. Heat number six and Jimmy Nielsen coming into gate number one in red, previous heat winner. The opposition is Jan Anderson Blue in gate number two. Andy Smith from England in the white helmet color in gate number three. And there on the outside in yellow and black is Billy Hamill than the US of A. So, an interesting race. Billy Hamill, two points first time out. And if Jimmy says, no problems. We'll wait and see as the tape tries on heat number six. Across the gate, Jimmy Nielsen red, Jan Anderson blue, Andy Smith white, and Billy Hamill in yellow and black. We're just waiting for Billy Hamill to settle. Sergeant Marshall walks away. The green light now goes on. The tape's rise, the bikes rev, and away they go into that first turn, and it's Nielsen there again. Jimmy Nielsen leads. Coming around the outside of him, though, is Billy Hamill. Has Hamill got the speed down the back straight? He has indeed. Billy Hamill from the US of A, of course, rides for Eskos Junior in Sweden and Cradley Heath in the British League. He's in pole position. Jimmy Nielsen second. So a good start for Nielsen, but it was Billy Hamill who drove around the first and second turn. The white helmet colour of Andy Smith is in third place, and Jan Anderson in fourth. But really, it's a convincing and commanding lead for the rider in yellow and black. With number six on his back, that's Billy Hamill. Second first time out, he'll be on five if he can hold on to this one. And Jimmy Nielsen is out of the race with engine problems. He was holding second place at the problems at the time, so Andy Smith comes through to second place, and Jan Anderson through to third as we're now on the last lap of heat number six. And surely, Billy Hamill has just got to go around these final two turns. He's got a hell of a lead. Billy Hamill around the final two bends of the Ulig Open in heat number six. He collects the three points as Hamill wins. Second place for Andy Smith, but a long, long way behind. And Jan Anderson finishes in third place. So Billy Hamill, there he is, a likeable character, one of the nicest people in Spear at the moment. He gets the three points as Jimmy Nielsen pushes that machine back to the pits, cursing his luck, no doubt. He was set for two points in that outing. But it's Billy Hamill who wins heat number six. Heat number seven, and there we see Speedy Todd Wiltshire, number 11 on his collar. He rides in the red helmet colour, gate number one. Rick Miller is in blue in gate number two. In white, in gate three, is Calvin Tatum. And Mikael Blitz is in yellow and black from Sweden in gate number four. That's the way they line up. Of course, Calvin Tatum, winner first time out. Todd Wiltshire, winner first time out. And Rick Miller getting a very, very good second place. That's the way they line up. 
for heat number seven. Starter Marshal just asking Calvin Tatum to come in a little bit closer. The last one to settle. An Australian, an American, a British rider, and a Swede in a very cosmopolitan heat number seven. As the tapes rise and away they drive, and who's going to get there? It's a rider in blue. Rick Miller, who gets the pack at the moment. Miller leads, Todd Wilkes your second. Calvin Tatum has lost momentum, is back in fourth place as the red lights go on. And we wait and see what the referee's decision is over the PA system. There we see the crowd, and it was an unsatisfactory start, and it will be rerun with all four riders. Rerun with all four riders in heat number seven. The referee not happy with the way the tapes rose or the way the one of the riders that was Rick Miller got a bit of a good start there, Rick. Rick who made such a great debut in the world final in 1990 in Bradford's Oxford Stadium. Meeting this fella in red done pretty diggy well. He's now finishing third place on the rostrum. Top watcher from Australia. So here we go then. For the second time of asking, heat number seven gets underway. And this time it's Wiltshire who hits the first turn from Calvin Tatum in white. Tatum try and drive around the outside. Now cuts and switches back to the inside. Wilkshire that leads. Tatum second. Rick Miller going very, very wide indeed and Blitz is uh, right up his exhaust pipe but can't make any grain on that turn. So it's Todd Wilkshire in the red helmet cutter who holds a key position for two heat number seven. What a year he had in 1990 and he's doing very, very nicely in 91 as well. Calvin Tatum second still just waiting for the slip by Wiltshire if it comes and now he tries the inside line Miller still in third place Blitz keeps looking down at his engine we wonder whether he's got problems or not but still Wiltshire leads in superb style as we enter the final lap of heat number seven and looks as though Wiltshire's going to get his second win of the night which will join him at top with along his fellow Australian Craig Boyce but coming around the final two turns, it's Todd Wilshire that's going to go there. He wins. Second place, Calvin Tatum. In third place is Rick Miller. And there from Australia, New South Wales, bank time to be precise. Todd Wilshire gets the three points. Calvin Tatum has to be settled with two. He's now on five. And, of course, in third place was Rick Miller. That was result of heat number seven. Heat number eight, Ronnie Corey Red. Lars Gunnestad in Norway in blue. Peter Carlson, Sweden, white, and Hans Nilsson, yellow and black, from Denmark, as away they drive from the start, and straight into an early lead, it's Gunnarstad and Hans Nilsson, Lars Gunnarstad in blue, Hans Nilsson in yellow and black, Nilsson very disappointing first time out, but now heads the pack in the yellow and black helmet colour, so Hans Nilsson leads, second place, and Hans Nilsson is pulled up with engine problems, so it's just not going to be Hans Nilsson's night, Lars Gunnarstad in blue comes through, to second to first place. Peter Carlson is in second place. And Ronnie Corey there as well. But it's this man in blue from Norway, Lars Gunnarstad. Got a Swedish Elite League medal, of course. Last year is Peter Carlson comes under this Ronnie Corey. So Carlson comes through to second place. Ronnie Corey relegated to third. But as I say, this rider in blue got a, a league winner's medal for Kumla in the Swedish Elite League last year. And uh, very, very underestimated is this fella. One more lap to go in heat number eight. And Lars Gunnarstad from Norway taking his piece of luck as Hans Nielsen falls up with engine problems. And Nielsen so far no points from two eighteen. So coming round the final two bends of heat number eight. It's a win and a good win for Lars Gunnarstad in blue. Second place in white is Peter Carlson from Sweden. And Ronnie Corrie from the USA in red gets the one point. But there he is, Lars Gunnarstad from Norway. He is a winner of heat number eight and gets three points. So there we are, Craig Boyce and Todd Wiltshire, both on six points and unbeaten. Tatum and Hamill on five, Smith and Peterson on four. Join us after the break. Green Sport cameras welcome you back to the Ulevi Stadium, scene of the 1991 Ulevi Open. And of course, later this year, the 1991 World Speedway Champion. We're on to heat number nine, which sees Billy Hamill riding in the red helmet color. In blue, Hans Nielsen. In white, Craig Boyce, and in yellow and black, Todd Wiltshire. So two unbeaten riders from Australia. In white, Craig Boyce, yellow and black is Todd Wiltshire, and something's got to give in heat number nine. And away they drive from the start, and who's going to get there for it's a red helmet colour of Billy Hamill and Hans Nielsen. So the two Australians are lost at the back of the field at the moment. So Billy Hamill just as the takes one up, he rocketed from the start. 
Billy Hamill, who had such a great season in 1990 with the Cradley Heath Ethans in the British League. This year, trying his luck in Scandinavia with Eskils Junior. Hans Nielsen, second in blue, looks over his shoulder, sees that Craig Boyce has come through to third place over Todd Wiltshire. But really, when the tapes rose on this race, it was always going to be Billy Abel. <laughs> Billy Abel very nearly comes down as he's holding on, he's lost the chain of something. Something's gone wrong. Now Hans Nielsen comes through to first place. Craig Boyce second, Todd Wiltshire third, and just is Billy Hamill seen to have things all his own way? The Fisher kiss of death happened. We now enter the final lap of heat number nine, an eventful heat number nine. And Hans Nielsen, so far pointless, looks like he's going to get his first win of the night here at Gothenburg. Round right the final two turns, it's number 16 on his back. It's going to be Hans Nielsen who gets here. Nielsen wins with the victorious wheelie. Second place, Craig Boyce. In third place, Todd Wiltshire. So congratulations to Hans Nielsen, but we do have to say, Commiserations to Billy Hamill, who done all the hard work from the start. And Billy in some sort of discomfort. We have to wait and see exactly what happened there. We take a slow motion look again, and there is all sorts of problems. And we wonder if uh, any part of his body is still there intact because he took a nasty look at Tumble. Brave character, there Jano Peterson from Denmark, who of course rides with Billy in Cradley Heath in the British League. So Billy, we wait to see if he's fit to take his next outing. So heat number 10, Peter Carlson, red. Perry Jonsson blue, Rick Miller white and Andy Smith in yellow and black. Away they drive from the start and Jonsson in blue superbly from the start now in pole position. Second place in yellow and black is Andy Smith but in red coming up underneath him is Peter Carlson of course ex-Swedish champion. Peter Carlson had a rough old patch with Wolverhampton in the British League never quite settled there and coming through to take him in the white is Rick Miller. Rick Miller from America and of course the Coventry Breeze and Marius that in the Swedish League, so a bit of a cosmopolitan field. Riders, of course, from six countries, Australia, America, Denmark, Norway, England, and host nation, Sweden. And there were so many riders who wanted to take part in this meeting, purely to see what the track rides like, if they get through, of course, to the big one on August the 31st. They want to know exactly what it's going to be like. This fellow in blue, he wants to get their Scandinavian king at the moment and world champion, Per Jonsson. One more lap to go in heat number 10. It's Johnson that leads. Per Johnson, going for Stockholm United. Still in the white helmet colour of Rick Miller chasing him, but uh, a bit forlorn chase now, I think, as we find round the final two bends. And it's Per Johnson who straightens up. He wins. Rick Miller is in second place and Peter Carlson third. So a good win. His first win of the night here in Gothenburg. Per Johnson gets three points and he'll be very pleased with life for the moment. That's the result of heat number 10. Heat number 11, and the red helmet colour there of Lars Gunnestad, winner last time out. Lars from Norway, and uh, along with Arndt Forland and uh, Invar Skogland, really carries their colours in the World Team Championships and World Pairs. So, Lars Gunnestad in red, Jano Peterson blue from Denmark. In white, Mikael Blitz from Sweden, and yellow and black, Jimmy Nielsen also from Sweden. That's the way they line up for heat. Number 11. Into the first turn, they all drive, and the first one to show is the white helmet colour of Mikael Blitz. Blitz leads, Gunnestad second. Jimmy Nielsen trying to come round to the inside of the back in yellow and black. Has he got the speed? It's Blitz who leads, and Gunnestad goes very, very wide, and Jimmy Nielsen comes through, and Jano Peterson as well. So it's all changing. A very eventful heat number 11 is Jimmy Nelson now come through on those two after the mistake by Michael Blitz. So Nelson in yellow and black chasing Mikael Blitz at the moment. Has he got the speed? Still, Lars going to stand back in third place. Been some eventful racing to say the least, with riders dropping points all over the place. Still, Mikael Blitz leads from Jimmy Nelson in second place. Lars going to start third with one more lap to go in heat number 11. Blitz looking set for his first win of the night. And it's going to be quite an unusual story tale with riders beating riders all over the place. But coming up to check the checker flag, it's Mikael Blitz who wins. Second place is Jimmy Nielsen. In your third place, Lars Gunnestad, and the long head style there of Mikael Blitz. Sadly lost his way in the sport a little bit last season with a, a retirement. Back this year for Kumla, 
and also back in England, re rise for Peterborough in the Sunbrook League Division 2. He's the winner of heat number 11. Heat number 12, Kenneth Nistrom of red, Ronnie Corrie, blue, Jan Anderson in white, and Calvin Tatum is in yellow and black. That's why line up for heat number 12. Takes rise, and the bikes roar into action. It's straight into the first turn, and it is Rocket Ronnie Corrie who at long last gets amongst the points. Ronnie Corrie there in first place. Jan Anderson lifts and drives out wide. In white, he's in second place. So Jan Anderson second. Red also there, Kenneth Nystrom, who comes up around the outside of Jan Anderson. Nystrom now riding for Kaparna, who of course race at the Ulibi Stadium in Division One of the Swedish League. Jan Anderson back in third. Sadly, Calvin Tatum back in fourth place. So, all change, all leads change in these right last few races here at the Ulibi Stadium. And who says Speedway Racing was all from the start? Ronnie Corrie so far been a little bit disappointed, it's fair to say, but he's going to come back with a bang just before the interval here at the Ulivi Stadium, and he's going to collect three points from heat number 12. As we go into the final lap, a long, long way clear of Kenneth Nystrom in second place and Jan Anderson third, Calvin Tatum is held well. So then the back straight for the final time. Round the final two bends, and Rocket Ronnie, as he's known in the Midlands, He's going to come up and take the checker flag. It's Corey that wins. Second place is Kenneth Nystrom. And in third place is Ian Anderson. So it's Ronnie Corey that wins heat 12. Three points to him, two to Nystrom, and one to Anderson. Let's then take a look at the scoreboard at the interval stage here in the 1991 Ulivi Open. And we know it's all changed, and not all changed, but a few riders dropping points. Craig Boyce leading on eight. Todd Wiltshire, seven. Tatum and Billy Hamill and Perry Johnson, Jimmy Nielsen and Rick Miller all on five points. Join us after the break for more Ulivi Open of 1991. Welcoming you back to the Ulivi Stadium in Gotham.